Hi there, my name is Cynthia Wakil, and today we're going to be telling you the places you can promote your business for free. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, Cynthia, for having me. So before you promote your business and you're looking for a platform to do that, what should you consider? Uh, it's, it's a very good question, Cynthia. And having, in, having myself been in business for the last 12 years, I can tell you that uh, one thing that I've learned is that you can be very good at what you do. You can have the best product or the best service in the market. But if you're not able to promote yourself, if you're not able to market, then you're not going to be in business. And unfortunately, I meet a lot of um, very gifted people, people who have very good ideas. They have very good products, but you find now the gap is how do they get to the market? And I believe that's where most of the people, especially when you're starting out in the business, um, they find this as a very big challenge. And so what has worked for me or worked for me is being able to see the value of marketing, being able to embrace marketing. And as you know, I mean, I spend a lot of time with you. I mean, 50 to 60 percent of my time, it's, it's geared towards marketing. The rest of the things I can be able to delegate to the other people. Yeah, so remind me, what was your question? Uh, what should you consider before promoting your business? Yeah, so there are three things that you need to consider, okay? If uh, you are new into business and you don't want to spend a lot of money. So the first thing is, who are you targeting? For example, if I'm targeting, let's say, a 50-year-old woman, I'll probably not use the same channels as if I'm targeting a 20-year-old. So who am I targeting is number one. Number two is, um, so where do they hang out? So let's say I focus on the 20 to 25 year old. Where do they hang out? So most likely, I'll not get them through med uh, radio. I'll not uh, get them through the traditional media where you're talking about the newspapers. We will find them maybe for this target audience. Uh, they could be online and not just online. Uh, you're talking about Instagram. Yeah. Then the, that thing and the most important is how much is it going to cost me? Why? Today, if you go and take a billboard, um, on a monthly basis, they charge between 150000 to 250000 So you can see already, if you are new, do you have that kind of money in India? You most likely don't have that. Yeah. So the focus here being free, what you work for you. Yeah. And um, so those are the top things. Top of mind, those are the top things that you need to consider. Uh, who am I targeting? Where do they most likely, where am I likely to find them? That is where do they hang out and uh, what, is, what will be the cost implication? How much am I going to spend? Yeah. yeah. You mentioned free, which we are focusing on today. Yes. So in your opinion, which is the best places to promote your business? Now I'm about to disappoint you. There's nothing for free, as they say. Yeah. So free in this context is you either spend time or money. That's what I've come to find out. So if you are rich... Uh, we wouldn't be discussing because you can throw the money all over. You can go to newspapers, you put an ad. You can go online, you put an ad. You can use the billboards. Uh, you can even be able to employ sales and marketing people. So there are many avenues if money is not a problem. So if you are listening or watching and you are that startup and you're wondering, yeah, Paminas has promised me that there are free avenues. Which are these? So I'll tell you, indeed, they do exist. But then what you need to invest is time. You find that you then have to spend time. So there's nothing for free. There, there's nowhere customers. You not find customers in a stage, or in a building. It, it doesn't happen. Yeah. yeah. So then you find what you need then to invest in. It's it's time. Yes. Yeah. So without much ado, then which are these um, areas I would recommend that you test? Number one and most the one that I've seen work is use of the free samples. Or if you're a consultant in the service industry, offering your services for free. Why? If I come and I talk to you, Cynthia, and uh, let's say you have a need. You have a one-on-one -on -one discussion and you have a need. And I say, uh, why don't I do this for you the first time? And then if you like the results, what happens? You, you can hire me. That's when we are going about it. Let's say you also sell something, a product. There's nothing that prevents you from going knocking on the kiosks and telling them, hey, this is what I'm, I'm doing nowadays. Let's say soap. You, you do soap. So you can go and say, this is what I'm doing. Uh, you give five samples and you tell them, give this to your customers or sell them even at, at a, this price. And if they like, when they come back, then you can get uh, into business. Yeah. So use of free samples or free consultation. I've, I've seen that work. The other bit is email marketing, especially if uh, you've been able to create an audience. 
for example the people who've subscribed to our channel um uh, we can now you know if you have if we come up with something then we can be able to share with them let's say they've left their details with us then now uh, if you have a new video or we come up with a new product or service we can be able to email them and this is free i'm not paying anything because uh they're already in our system and so i can afford to be able to be sending them the emails uh the other bit is uh, use of uh, social places so i believe apart from our work for example if it's you uh, you belong to social networks you there are social places that you visit so it could be the malls it could be the religious centers so if you're a christian you go to church if you're a muslim you go to the mosque and i'm sure you've been able to know how they operate so again you can be able to introduce yourself and ask to be given an opportunity to speak or ask for an opportunity after church or after the mosque for people for you to maybe have a desk and people can come and see what you do so i've also seen that one work yeah the other avenue you can use is make use of your friends your networks yeah i know it's not easy especially because i don't know what happens with friends they prob they sometimes don't take us so seriously but i would say before you give up try it may not be everyone who will support you but out of your 50 friends there are two or three of you who will really come through for you so again by you coming and tell them telling them oh to, nowadays i'm a consultant or nowadays i'm doing this this is what i'm selling you know share with them the merchandise i believe uh, the reason why it doesn't work so much with friends is because more so much because of the approach uh, because what we do we also do when we start doing something it's like we are forcing our customers so I'll come to you in there i'll tell you no buy for me this painting or something like this and i sell it to you at a very high price i don't even give you a discount so yeah be be very um, tactical when it comes to friend uh, you can give them even the free samples uh, or you know let them let them understand that this is something you are doing it's at the introductory stage also have a one on one engagement you know where you explain yourself so don't talk don't take a shortcut even if it's a friend mm. yeah so the other platform you can use which i would say is for free and in today's age works very well is use of social media so for example whatsapp has this feature for status so nowadays i see people posting what they are doing especially if we are dealing with products and i remember um, just i was just scrolling through just wasting time looking at what people had posted and i saw this from a classmate of mine uh, she had posted this product and uh, just at the spur of the moment i said oh okay how much do you are you selling these do you de do deliveries and all that and uh, a week later i mean she delivered the product here at the office so you see uh she didn't use any money to to contact me and here she she was she had gotten a customer so in this day and age you can't ignore social media and so if you have a facebook page twitter page uh whatsapp obvious i mean that can work greatly for you even for twitter i came to realize people you know they jump to all these hashtags so you see these hashtags seem they are care for the faith and um you know people they jump onto that bandwagon and they post they send in these merchandise shoes dresses and i'm sure they get customers because there are many of them yeah so as you can see there are many avenues you can use um what they will cost you is uh, it's uh, it's a matter of time and creativity and so you don't have to struggle if you are starting if you're new into business you don't have to feel oh how will i get a customer yeah and as you saw during the introduction sometimes it's it's not so much about how good you are it can you be able to get customers yeah so be creative go out there uh first before you spend money look at what other ways or means can you use to be able to make people be aware that you know you're in the market and this is what you're selling mm. yeah All right, thank you so much for sharing that with us. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank you for watching. For more tips on how you can start a successful business in Kenya, please subscribe to the channel. See you next time. <laughs>